the 10th Circuit rules the city of Tulsa cannot prosecute Indians for traffic offenses. I'm Tulsa Attorney James Worth, and that's the topic that we have today. It's actually a brand new decision. It came out June 28th, 2023 from the 10th Circuit. It's case number 22-5034, and it deals with the city of Tulsa and its jurisdiction post-McGirt. All right, so McGirt, that was the decision decided in the summer of 2020 that said the Muscogee Creek Nation was never disestablished, and therefore all that territory is still Indian country. That was followed by the other five tribes and a one additional tribe on top of that, which means that all of Tulsa County and all of the city of Tulsa is within um, the realm of what is now still tribal reservations. So the question becomes, now that we know that the state of Oklahoma under McGirt does not have jurisdiction to prosecute Indians for criminal offenses, including traffic offenses, what about the city of Tulsa? Well, the city of Tulsa argued since it existed before statehood, and at that time it was a political subdivision of the federal government, that it should be construed as being part of that system still so that they can still prosecute um, Indians for uh, minor criminal offenses and traffic offenses. And then if that's the case, those cases could be appealed through the federal system to the federal district court, Northern District Court, and then up to the 10th Circuit and ultimately to the United States Supreme Court instead of where they would historically have gone through uh, the uh, district court, uh, Tulsa County, and then all to the Oklahoma Court of Criminal Appeals. But the uh, defendant in that case, who had a traffic citation back in 2018, paid the ticket, McGirt came along, and now he filed post-conviction relief saying that that city of Tulsa court never had jurisdiction over me because I'm an Indian and this occurred in Indian territory. So the city of Tulsa was arguing, like I said, that they still have the authority pursuant to Section 14 of the Curtis Act based on them being uh, in existence prior to uh, statehood. But the defendant argued that once they became, um, once Oklahoma became a state, all of the municipalities went under the jurisdiction of the state, no longer under the jurisdiction of the federal government. It's a political subdivision of the state of Oklahoma. The state of Oklahoma doesn't have the jurisdiction to prosecute um, Indians in Indian country, and therefore the city of Tulsa does not. Now, the federal district court decided with the city of Tulsa saying they do have authority. They appealed that up to the 10th Circuit, and that's the decision that we got on June 28th, which says that, no, sorry, district court, you are wrong. Uh, the Curtis Act is no longer applicable because this is now a political subdivision of the state of Oklahoma, not the federal government. So they can't go over those rules. And if the state of Oklahoma doesn't have the authority, then how can a political subdivision of the state of Oklahoma have the authority? Therefore, you do not have the authority to prosecute Indians. You've never had the prosecution authority to prosecute Indians. So there could be some more post-conviction relief filings uh, that occur. Anybody that's got a conviction, traffic offense, misdemeanor, and Tulsa Municipal Court may want to look at that, and certainly it's going to be applicable to current cases. Um, if you've got a case pending in the city of Tulsa um, and you are Native American, that court, according to this, doesn't have jurisdiction. But is this the end? Well, it, maybe it is and maybe it isn't. A couple different things. One, as far as the appeal of the post-conviction relief, the court found that, hey, um, the Curtis Act is not applicable here, therefore um, this is a state issue um, that the court doesn't have jurisdiction, the Tulsa Municipal Court doesn't have jurisdiction to prosecute, and that also means that us as a federal court don't have the jurisdiction to hear the appeal. So they're saying that that appeal should be dismissed, but the defendant was smart in this case in that he also requested a declaratory judgment. So that is going back to the district court for a ruling in line with this 10th Circuit opinion uh, to make a determination likely on um, whether um, the declaratory ruling, ruling that the, uh, the city of Tulsa does not have jurisdiction. The city has um, indicated that they're likely to appeal this to the United States Supreme Court. Um, now, any particular appeal to the United States Supreme Court is very unlikely for them to pick up. Obviously, this, given the importance of it and how many cases could potentially be involved and it's related to McGirt, it increases the chances that the United States Supreme Court would vo vote for certiorari to take that case on, but obviously not guaranteed. So, just one more case turning the way things are related to McGirt in the state of Oklahoma and jurisdiction of the state and the city and the tribes and the federal government. If you are dealing with anything in that scenario, you're definitely going to want to talk to an attorney privately and confidentially about your specifics to get legal advice, to get that scheduled with somebody at my office, you go online to makelaweasy.com.